your heart will explode. Good afternoon, welcome back to some more vampire. I'm here. We just talked to Mr. Digby over there, and uh, to be honest with you, not that bad of a guy, really, considering he's a bit of a shit, but uh, yeah, not too bad, you know. Not too bad, I suppose. Edwina and Digby. These guys. Mm, I would love to eat Digby. You again. Would you? Goodbye. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Huh? Can I see... As long as you have... Ooh! Uh... Sure. Actually, do, do need two of these to upgrade some of my stuff. So yes, I I will buy some of this stuff. Thanks. Thank you, Miss Miss Miss, uh, miss uh, Cox. Good evening. Hello. Anyway, I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint. I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them; they must know something. Okay. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. You never paid him a visit at the Pembroke Hospital, did you? Well, I don't intend to. In Clay's case, I'm not against a medical mistake or a little help from the Spanish flu. Okay. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Hmm... What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. Ugh, sure, I guess. Boo Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. I'm not that easily shocked, Miss Cox. You can speak freely about your lover, if you so wish. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. That's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Ooh. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. Hmm. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard. 
but it didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. Okay. Your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Hey, uh, you're actually pretty good. I'm quite surprised. Think required. Personal questions, no. Okay, thank you very Goodbye, much. Miss Cox. Digby. Digby, where have you gone? I need to talk to you. Uh, Digby? Kind of want to talk to you. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Are you so heartless that you could pull the trigger and kill someone without even blinking? Have you looked around recently? Do you really think one more body will make a difference? Do you know Edwina suspects you to be unfaithful? Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox, even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. Oh. Uh, all right. Goodbye. These people give a lot of XP. However, my mesmerizing uh, level is pretty low. I have to wait. Alright, let's talk to a few more people around here. There are countless people we could talk to. This guy, for instance. Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Rufus. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. Well, no. It's just that... People prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Do you know a man who lives in this part of town? A man named Sean Hampton. I'm looking for him. Sorry, sir. I don't know a lot of folks around here. Most prefer to avoid me. Well, I don't think you should talk to him. He may be very sick. Thanks for the tip. You might want to check the turquoise turtle. It's a pub not far from here. The barkeep knows everyone in these parts. Oh, thank you very much. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Mm hmm. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the docks. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. Hmm. Anemia? Hmm. Okay. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. 
Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Well, sure. All right, then. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. All right, we're still... Oh, hello. Who are you? Goodbye, mister. Uh, not much from that guy. You lost a necklace. That's pretty much it. We'll probably find him at some point. Um, I assume... I don't remember how to... Yes, there it is. No, it's not it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Token of love and enemy to cocks. Come up with a grave dig. I really wish... I think we should do this one, you know, with the grave diggers. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll do that. Before we go find Sean. Uh, there's Rufus who could do with an anemia thing. There's Stella Fishburne down here who I'm fairly sure. Um, I could find the door. Where's the door? Hello? Mark my words. These murders are... Oh, here we go. Door. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I've been it's locked. Worry. Right, love. So you have questions about the flu then? Sure, yes, we'll go with that. Among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Stella. Hmm. I'm trying to locate Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where he could be? You talking about the one everyone calls the sad saint? The man who takes care of the homeless? The very same, Miss Fishburne. I'm sorry. I don't know where his shelter is. But if you ask around, I'm sure you'll get your answer. The orphan that regards you as a mother, please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed. But I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. How is mm. life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know. But it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you can just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. True. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Hmm. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. 
My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. Oh, right. I see. Well, thank Goodbye, you very much. Mr. Fishburne. Take care of yourself. <sighs> right. Let's uh, let me find out where ah uh, so retrieve the lair close lock by Fishburn and hmm it's anywhere around here okay with the map there it is and it's just to the left there hmm so if we come out and go to the left yeah so this way it's somewhere around it. Where are the grave diggers? Are these grave diggers? Maybe. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Okay, then. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... ...they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child... ...he was molested. ...by a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Right. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Oh, hey, we're back here. Got some more information about Sabrina, so let's uh, give her a chat. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. Not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it, neither. Who's mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Excuse my curiosity, but... ...where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne. I'm sorry if I... Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. This place seems... We get people of all sorts. So this... Yeah. Tom's convinced this is... Your boss... Yeah. T 
What can people don't you look? This is a bad borough. If you're, I got responsibility. Goodbye, Miss Kevin. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Doctor? I told you that I'm a doctor. Hmm. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Hmm. Sabrina seems very fond of you, Tom. I like her too. I really do. I know I'm her boss, and I'm much older and all. But I like her, for sure. What is bothering you, then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. Uh, it hurts to see her like that. Hmm. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Well, thank you very much. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Hmm. That's useful. Thank Goodbye, you, Tom. Mr. Watts. I wonder if I can ask Sabrina not to be so angry. I want these two to get together. They're so adorable. Let's continue on with finding uh, good old Sean then, shall we? Uh, this is the... Hmm. There's... Whoops. Coming up with the grave diggers, but I'm fairly sure this one is... Yeah, that's too far away. Um... Look at the site where the bombing took place. Um... Oh, you're not telling me at all? Oh, it's just around here somewhere. So, yeah, there's two things to go over here. Uh, finding the... It's around there somewhere. And the posters are over here. So we've got a few things to do over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't want to come up with the grey diggers. Cause... Oh, wait. Uh, sure. Western's docks is still pretty, pretty. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Uh, guys, have you not noticed that thing? Level twenty-two. Crap. Am I going to be able to defeat this guy, do you think? We'll give it a go. know how to 
switch range weapon no is there not a can I not hmm. oh yeah there we go okay whoa shitting Jesus These guys just do not give that much XP at all. Old warehouse, eh? Another disgusting ghoul did it, don't you think? Seems like the guard of three winners on Sean Hampton's trail too. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I'm probably gonna die here. Okay. okay, let's get rid of the ads first. stuff back. Okay, good. annoying. Right, so we still got to go through up there. Well, it's been quite a while now, so we'll have to go down there next time. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Your friends will abandon you.